Hello, YouTubers. Well, I finally got confirmation back about my Tigrid inverter, and it looks like that it is faulty. Um, not sure what happened. I think one of the blocking diodes went out. So we are back here in my garage again, and here is the setup. Let me actually switch cameras here. And here's the setup again. Um, looks like that the uh, the ground fault, the island isolator itself actually is faulty on on the inside. So we're gonna rip this thing down. We're gonna ship it back to the manufacturer. Uh, they're just gonna give me um, just a refund back because I uh, I sent one of the video clips off to them so they could review one of the prior videos that I've done of the process of elimination. So we're going to go ahead and rip this thing on down, ship it back, and wait for the new one to come in. Take these things down is actually quite simple. Looks like we're having not too... It's really, really overcast here. Let's go outside here so you can see how cloudy it is. So it is really, really overcast today. Lots of clouds. About oh, 11, quarter after 11 in the morning, and we're still out back putting, uh, give or take about 300 watt. I'll do another video on my wiring that I have on my panels. It's kind of a makeshift job for now until I can get the regular PV line ran, but I'll do another video up on that. And looks like we're pushing almost, let's see if we hit 400, uh, 400 watts on three tiger inverters and these things are running at pretty much max right now so disassembly on these things here is actually quite simple all you have to do since we're going to kill the power on this guy here I'm going to pull the plug we got two wing nuts or thumb, thumb bolts right here So that was still alive. <laughs> Positive lead will take you, tuck you up. Negative lead. Make sure we find all those little washers here again. Because they're going to want everything possible. Be a lot better if I had a GoPro or something to actually record all these on too. But I don't, so I'll make do. I'm gonna take these four screws out that I have. If my battery will last me. Just loosen these two up. And she's out. We're gonna get this thing taken off. We're gonna go and take this thing down to the post office and go ahead and ship it on back and wait for the new one to come in. And I'll go ahead and do a video up on the installation. It's pretty much just the reversal of what we did for the disassembly. Alright. Take care all.